Every Tuesday lunchtime in June, UCL's free public lunch hour lectures will go on tour to the Museum of London and the Museum of London Docklands. I'm going to talk about dinosaurs, the famous dinosaur statues in Crystal Palace Park. I'm going to tell you some of the secrets of the park, and I'm going to help you read the dinosaur statues. That's fancy academic talk for, for getting to the stories behind the statues. Why are they there? Why are they smiling? What was it like to run around the statues in the 1850s? And what was in people's minds when they thought about prehistoric beasts at a time long before anybody was really thinking about evolution? Slavery was abolished in the British West Indies, Mauritius and the Cape in 1833. And Britons were proud to celebrate the gift of freedom as they saw it, that they had bestowed on enslaved Africans. That memory has lived on. Parliament granted £20 million in compensation to the slave owners for the loss of their property, as it was called, enslaved African men and women. The Black Death killed up to half the population of medieval Europe in just five years, including a single generation of Londoners. A plague cemetery near the Tower of London was excavated in the mid-1980s by the Museum of London. But it wasn't until 2011 that technology made it possible to reveal the identity of the Black Death. Broadly over the last 50 years and probably longer there have been lots of different projects, grassroots projects, people getting together to tell their own histories and usually in a, in a sense that they are responding to what they believe to be an absence in the mainstream histories or things that are incorrect and they're seeking to insert, rebalance, uh, change those histories. <laughs>